Hi, this is Brian. We're going to cover in this video how to wire a 8-pin field wireable connector. This one happens to be an 8-pin uh, female. So the very first thing you do is you want to prep your wires. So this is one that has not been prepped. Uh, this is a, a cable from Banner Engineering. Um, the reason what, what you want to do here is you want to cut the wires down because when you put the field wireable on and you screw everything together, it'll look like this and you'll have extra wire that won't really fit inside of this housing. Uh, so this is what I like to do. This one has not been prepped, so typically what you're gonna do is kind of figure out how much wire do I actually need, so probably about here, and then you snip the ends off with your wire cutters. So I've already done that with um, this cable, so this is actually one that I have to redo. And the next step is after you snip them off, you have to go through and then strip the ends, right? So this is all 20 gauge, uh, I believe. So you go through and strip off all the ends. So the next step that I do, everybody probably does this a little bit differently, is I go around and I unscrew all of the different screws so that they are ready to go when um, I wanna screw everything in. So I go all the way through and I unscrew them all and they are all pretty much unscrewed. Let's do some more. Let's make sure they're all the way out. Try not to unscrew them all the way because it is a real pain in the butt to get these screws back in there because they're really small. At least for me. Having a magnetic screwdriver helps. Well, I just screwed one all the way out, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so they're all done, including number eight right here. Okay, so next step is you want to have a wiring diagram. So this is our wiring diagram for a um, eight pin um, M12 coated uh, connector. So they're all right here. I'm gonna set this up here so that I can reference it. So the next step you want is we have to find where uh, pin one and pin two are. So this is not easy to see on a video, but basically on this one, there's an eight, a two, and a one uh, right here labeled on this field wireable connector. So this one is one and this one is two. So one is the white wire. So we're gonna put the white wire in here. And you wanna make sure that your, um, you don't really have any wire hanging out the ends, right? Oh, most important part, put this on first. Put this on first. If you don't put this on first and you wire the whole thing together, you're gonna to be pretty frustrated at the end. I like to pull this thing out of here and then let's put them all through. Sometimes it helps to kind of twist them together so they go in the holes. All right, Oop, I messed that up. This goes on first. Then this piece, just like the wire clamp when we tighten it down so it doesn't move. And then this piece so all very important to minimize frustration at the end of this job. Okay, so now pull all these apart. All right, back to number one. So number one's the white wire. So we're gonna twist these together like this, and then we're gonna go find our one, two. So this is one, this is two, this is eight. The reason why I know that, again, is because one, the notch is right here, it looks a little bit different, and then it's also labeled. Um, you can use a magnifying glass and a uh, flashlight to find that. So then, insert my wire here, hold it in place, and then screw it down. Okay. And then we go to blue, which is number two. Basically, I'm following the wiring diagram all the way around. Sorry, brown, blue is not two, brown is two. That's why you wanna keep looking at your wiring diagram. Blue is seven. All right, so we got a brown in there. I will say that this is not a fast endeavor, at least for me. Green is three. So 
So if you can avoid using field wireables, do that. But one thing you should know is that if you start working with the M12 connectors, you know, there's there's four pin, which is very common. There's five pin, there's eight pin. Um, there's a couple of others too. They're not compatible with each other, not really. Um, fours and fives kind of are, but depending on how the sensors and things are coded, they might not be. All right, next up, yellow, yellow, yellow. Feed that through here. All right, we'll fast forward through the rest of these because it's all the same. All right, now last, red. Uh, sometimes I do red first because it can be a pain in the butt to get it in the middle, but sometimes it's easy and it all comes together. All right, so we screw red in. Make sure they're all nice and tight, which they are. Then we close this up. Screw that in. Push our little wire nut up here. And then what we use to tighten it like that. And we're done. Five pins work the same way. The only difference with a five pin is there's five pins. The numbers are going to be different. Uh, also, whether it's male or female, it doesn't matter. They all work the same way. So if you have any questions, please leave us a comment or you can reach out at support at gomingo.io.